What's up everyone, Art here with No Code Devs, and today I'm excited to show you a really cool new tool we discovered called Jista. Jista allows you to build chatbots using your own data set in a matter of minutes. You could take it a step further and even train these chatbots to be sales agents for you. It's no code, it's super easy, and it takes only a couple minutes to get started. Plus they have some sample data sets available to us so we can get into their playground right away. You can embed this right on your website or even install it as a widget somewhere on your site so that users can easily access it. Let's dive in, check it out, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive in and show you how this all works. So again, I've landed at justa.co, and this is the website that we're gonna use today in the demo to show you how to build your own AI sales agent. What's really cool about this is it could be for products. If you own an e-commerce brand, like a Shopify store or an Amazon affiliate page, this could be for information-based products, like a knowledge base or a company directory, or really anything in between, any sort of data will work. You can train your own data and then tell it how to respond. So if you haven't created an account, you can create one for free. They do have a free tier. We have an account, so I'm going to go ahead and log in here. What I really like is the simplicity of this app. It's really user-friendly. It's easy to get set up. The first step is to upload your source file. And they have some example files here that they provide that can give you a really good understanding of how powerful this chatbot is. So that's what we're gonna to use today as one of their source files. But as you can see, they have this collection of essays. They have an Amazon product database, a medical research paper on long COVID. So there's really a ton here that you could use this chatbot for, but Today's example, we're gonna use this Amazon product database dump because it really shows you how powerful the chatbot is and it has a ton of data in here. So you can really get a sense of how somebody could upload their own product data set and then have the chatbot be trained on it to recommend products very quickly to their users. So we're gonna go ahead and download this file as a CSV. This CSV file has all kinds of information like the title, the description, the category, 5,000 plus products in here from baby products to pet supplies, the price, the ASIN, the URL of the product on Amazon. You can actually append your affiliate link here to these URLs, which could be pretty interesting. And then they have the image URL, which is really cool because we can actually get product images right in the chatbot. So this is the data set that we downloaded. Again, you can use your own data set in all kinds of different formats from PDF to CSV. So I'm gonna close out of this and I'm just gonna upload this file here that we just downloaded right into Jista. Okay, so we have to select our source type, single document, which would be like a PDF or a text file, or database records in CSV format, which is what we have. CSV is most precise, so I think that's what you should try to use. But if you have a different file, that's absolutely fine. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click here. I'll find my file. And they give you a couple options. One is just to show you the preview of the prompt format, but then there's also this chunk size. You can play around with this. I'm gonna keep it at a thousand for the sake of example, but you can change the amount of chunk size whenever you upload the data, which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and click upload. Now, depending on the size of the file, this can take some time. This went pretty quick, even though it's a big file, but now it needs to crunch and figure out the data and make sense of it. Now, this could take three to five minutes, I would say, on a data set like this, which has 5,000 records. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause and then come back once this has uploaded, but it's still pretty quick. And once it's done, I can show you how we can use the playground and then get this running on a live website. Okay, so our data has finished uploading. We can see that our source is ready for inquiries. We get some basic information like the file size, the number of chunks, and some summary of the data, which is quite nice. So we can see all of that here. Across the top here, we have two options. One is our playground. We navigate over here. We can actually test out how our chatbot is gonna work. I could say, I am looking for diapers because I knew there were some baby products in this list. What type of diapers are you looking for? Cloth or disposable? Let's say cloth. And check it out. It's actually going to provide us back some products from our data set that we can go ahead and click on. It gives us a brief description of the product and then the link to the Amazon URL. We also have this test search here. We can just do cloth diapers. And we can actually see the data that we get back from our data set quite quickly. And it even gives us a match score so we can see how confident 
the model is in predicting the right product to us. So super cool. So now that we've tested our data, of course, you could do a lot more testing than just this, but we did some basic testing to make sure that everything is working. We can head over to the chatbot tab here of the just a dashboard. And the first thing that we're going to do is click this button to create a new chatbot. We have to choose our data source. You could actually have multiple data sources for one chatbot, which is super cool. We only have one data source here, so we're just going to choose the Amazon data source that we just uploaded and tested in the playground. And we are going to click create chatbot. So it's going to train from the source. It's going to take a couple minutes while it's doing that. We'll play around with some of the settings here. What do we want to call this? We call this Amazon. Bot. An initial message. What product can I help you find? So you can really tailor the message depending on what kind of data your chatbot is trained on. If it's products, you can have a quick product prompt. If it's information based, you can write something like, what can I help you find today? That kind of thing. So really nice to customize your chatbot so that you can make it your own for your own website. This is a description. This chatbot is designed to recommend products on Amazon. Okay, so we'll go ahead and fix that. And then this is where we can type in the instruction. So this is essentially the prompt that we're gonna wanna use to have our trap bot be more effective. There's some instruction here. I'm gonna go ahead and type that a prompt and paste it in. Okay, so I just wrote a brief instruction. You are an Amazon shopping advisor. You will recommend a product based on the user's inputs. Please provide the results in a way that are clear and concise that is clear and concise okay so you can adjust the temperature also your language model depending on the plan that you're on i'm just going to keep it at 3.5 again here's our training data source and while we were working here it looks like our chat bot is ready but paused so it keeps the data private or it keeps the bot private until we check this box that allows it to be public and then we can actually go ahead and try it out we can copy the url paste it here let's go ahead and try and here is our chatbot looks like i didn't save any of my chatbot name or description but i am looking for diapers let's just try it i'll say infant cloth diapers Okay, here we go. And look at this. Our chatbot is providing us back information from our data set. And it's now including the image, the price, and the Amazon link. And we can see all of our options here. It says, please note these are just a few options. There are many other brands and styles available. It's important to consider factor this fit, absorbency, and ease of use when choosing cloth diapers for your event. So not only does it provide the product, but it just gives some other information that's helpful to your search. So now that we have our chatbot and it's working and we can put the name in here again let's just go ahead and edit this one second okay amazon bot what product and i hope oh, find okay let's update this now we can see Amazon bot and we can actually see the activities of the searches. But the next thing that we're going to want to do is embed this on our website. So there's this helpful bar here. How can I embed this chat bot on my website? So there's a couple different options. There's an iframe or a chat bubble. And there's even some help guides here to show you how to install it on different popular website builders. So we're going to go ahead and use the iframe here i'm going to copy this code i actually have just like a blank site connected here in editor x which is just a website builder and i put there's really nothing on this site except the header and then this code block here where i'm just going to drop in this iframe script i'm going to go ahead and hit update and let's go ahead and preview this let's see if it works yep and looks like our bot 
is working right here on our site. I might need to expand this a little bit so we can see the whole bot. There we go. Preview. And let's go ahead and give this a try on our live website. Cloth, diapers, specific information, we'll say four infants. Oh, so I guess I hit the maximum amount of queries that I can do on a free plan, which is just a few. But if you had a paid plan here, then you would actually get your response back just as we did in a test environment on your live website. But it is working. It actually looks really nice here right on our website. You can again use the chatbot widget if you would prefer to just have a widget like in the bottom right hand corner versus in your web page. It really just depends on your use case. But that's pretty much it. Let's go back to our dashboard here. There are a couple of different things. You can get, create plugins here, but this would require developers. So I'm not going to go into the plugin sections. And then you just have your account sections where you, again, super simple, but that's what I love about this. You can upgrade to their paid plans. If you want to go beyond testing, when you go back to dashboard, you can edit your sources. The dashboard's really nice because you actually get how many messages it's sent and some basic statistics to give you some sort of idea about how much your bot is being used. So again, hope this video was uh, super helpful. Definitely go check out just uh, it's an awesome way to quickly spin up a chat bot. It's really easy to get from zero to one. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe and like it. Thank you so much for being a part of the NoCut Devs community.